iPhone that enable US, you could just change HTTPS for HTTP and the connection will work. <laughs> so so uh, AWS was just sending me all the, the, the configured tokens to my account, to my mind in the middle, uh, and then download it. All right, everyone. Hey, thanks so much for jumping back in. I'm stoked to be hanging out with Carlos Pollup and Ignacio Dominguez over from Halborn, where we have been discussing a little bit of CICD or that continuous integration, continuous deployment, continuous delivery, however you want to interpret that last bit of the acronym there. But man, we've been doing some uh, sort of crawl, walk, run uh, structure in these videos. And now moving on, I think we're going to start to run for a little bit. I think we're going to be rocking two demos, uh, both in things that I'm a little bit new to naive and ignorant on uh but i think the first one when we've previously been chatting about jenkins and github actions and these sort of i don't know knee-jerk reactions to set up cicd i think more formally in production infrastructure you're usually working with like aws like amazon web services or an official cloud hosting provider and they're using something is is that code build is that right i, I look i'd love to be schooled I, i'll let you take the floor man what's code build <laughs> yeah, so the first demo is going to be talking about Code Bill. Um, Code Bill is one of these AWS services for CI/CD, one of the main ones. And the goal of Code Bill is that um, you are going to be specifying a build spec, which is like kind of the commands you want to run whenever a change happens somewhere, potentially in a repo. So you can say, hey, if this GitHub repo uh, modifies this main branch, I want you to download it, execute some, I don't know, build a Docker container and push it. So it's kind of the way AWS allows you to react to change in your in your code. Ooh, that sounds like at least partially like a sort of desired state configuration sort of thing, or just, again, very, of course, GitHub action, like, look, there's something new, let's work with it. Uh, are there any sort of best practices or how do you get that right? And especially how do you get that wrong? <laughs> <laughs> so, man, I, um, so obviously, as you said, as you said, is like the GitHub actions of, of AWS. But the fun thing about this is that is the GitHub actions of AWS. Mm. <laughs> so in here, we are saying, hey, AWS, you can access GitHub and GitHub always have a lot of interesting resources. So in Halborn, we had this, this client that talked to me and said, hey, man, look, um, you cannot see the GitHub tokens you are using, but they are very privileged. And in fact, I know that most of the companies will get these tokens with all the permissions, just put in there, it will work, and they will forget about those tokens. Why they will forget about those tokens? Because there is no way to retrieve them. AWS have an API to create the connection with the token, to list the connections without getting the token, and to delete it. But there is no API to say, hey, give me back the token. I, I, I want to see it. So this client told me, hey, Carlos, is there any way an attacker could manage to get this token? Like, what will happen if someone compromised AWS? Because actually, we don't have in AWS anything super sensitive, but this token, is it possible to, to, to get it? So I started doing some researching. And I found this kind of um, issue in, in AWS that allowed you to steal this token because, because it allowed you to, to set environmental variables, um, in this case, HTTP underscore proxy and HTTPS underscore proxy, so you could proxify the connection. Oh. There, is, there is a drawback. If you use HTTPS github.com, Obviously, I don't have a valid certificate for that, so they are not going to trust it. But I found that in AWS, you could just change HTTPS for HTTP, and the connection will work. <laughs> so so uh, AWS was just sending me all the, the, the configured tokens to my account, to my mind in the middle, uh, and then downloading it. So I found this way. And I talked to AWS and I told, hey, guys, like you, you have this, this, this problem. Like it's super simple to fix. You just need to not allow HTTP. And after a month, they put exactly that check. They, they wouldn't allow us to, to use the HTTP protocol. And unfortunately, man, and this is fun, 
I found this while I was showing this vulnerability at a conference. <laughs> so they fixed it like the day before. I didn't check it a- again. And, and, and when I was showing the conference, the team, I was like, oh, shit, I, I cannot put HTTPS here anymore. So, yeah, I was kind of pissed off because of, of that. And, and the other day I was checking, I was playing again with Code Build, and I found a very nice feature that was execute your code bill inside the Docker container of your election. So, again, we cannot change the protocol, but we can set the the environmental variables and we can select the the Docker container. Would it be any other environmental variable that say, hey, trust this certificate. This is a good one. Well, there is. And if you are thinking about where can you find that, it's in Hacktrix uh, for a year ago. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> so the demo I would like to show you, it's about uh, how you can create this Docker container to do a man in the middle saying, hey, trust this certificate and continue still this, this token. The good thing about this is that this is actually an AWS feature, so I don't even consider this a vulnerability. This is just a, a, a feature of AWS because you are just using your own Docker container for this. That's awesome. I'm stoked to see it. It sounds like this is a bypass to a previous fix with a feature, right? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That's super exactly, cool. Right. I saw this and, well, I don't know. I, I, I just wanted to, to try it. So let's find out if I find a way to properly share my screen. I think this is going to work. Okay. So here we are in, in Cloud Hack Tricks. Um, and actually here, the ICTP protocol in, in this page right here, we are in AWS pen testing, post-exploitation, code build, uh, token leakage. You can see that actually here is explained the technique I just saw, I just told you uh, using mm. HTTP protocol, which is fixed. But today we are we be we are going to be following this uh, well, this explanation right here. So let me show how code build uh, looks like. So if we go to code builds and we go to the projects, here we can see some uh, projects that have tried to be built. Um, today we are be using this testing one. And as an attacker, so first of all, this is not a vulnerability per se. This is just kind of a post exploitation technique. Here we are abusing high privilege in code build. So you need to be high privilege in code build. It's not something you can will usually be able to do. But let's imagine we have already compromised AWS and we are trying to pivot from AWS using this CICD pipeline to GitHub. Just exactly the opposite we did the, in, the, in the other video. So you can go to a, a code build project and you can check, or, or actually what you could try to do, this is going to be easier. You just go to create a project and one of the main things you need to check is, okay, let's go to GitHub. And here you can see your connection status. And here, we can see that, hey, we are already connecting to GitHub using OAuth. This means someone has connected here. There is a token we can steal. So now we could create uh, a code build project with the Docker container I told you, or maybe if you want to be a little bit more stealth, we could just modify an existing one. And this is what we are going to be doing today. So I'm going to override the image. And in this case, I'm going to be using a custom image, uh, ARM, because I, 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 compile, I compiled this Docker image in an in a ARM macOS, so we are using ARM. We are using other registry. Um, I just upgrade the version. I'm going to tell you why in a moment. Uh, blah, 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 update environment. Okay, so now I have configured this code build project to use my Docker container. What is inside this Docker container? Well. This is what is inside this Docker container. Um, this do- I, look how simple is the is the <laughs> Docker file. Could you look zoom in a little bit? Can we amp up that text size? Oh, but that looks awesome. Yeah. So this is it. Nice. This is super simple. <laughs> we are installing curl, updating. We are copying the 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 certificate we want the Docker to trust, which is this one. And we are just setting these uh, environmental variables. In this case, in this case, I don't want to steal HTTP um, communications. 
because the HTTP communications inside CodeBuild is with the metadata service, which obviously I cannot proxy because I cannot access it, and it will break the whole communication. So in this case, I'm just still in the HTTP con uh, com HTTPS communication and indicating this is the environmental variable you can use to say, hey, just trust this certificate. Don't worry, man. It's it's all good. Okay, so how can you do this mine in the middle? It's actually super simple. Um, you can just copy this. Actually, mine in the middle proxy, this is something you install with pip using pip install mine in the middle proxy, something like this. It's, it's in GitHub, I don't know. It's super simple. So I'm going to be executing this. We are, well, um, I said we are listening in port 444. Uh, let's get everything and let's allow the host github.com. We don't want to steal other stuff. So because the Docker container should be using this address as man in the middle, we should get here the communication from the code build to GitHub. We are going to be stealing not a traditional GitHub token, but an OAuth GitHub token. Yeah. This means that even if you configure AWS code build, to use GitHub via OAuth, we can still match in the middle of that. The token is going to be shortly. I think it was like five minutes, but we will be able to completely abuse it. Okay, um, so I press on a start build. It's in progress. Here we should see in a moment that it's getting executed. Okay, provisioning, downloading source. Woo Ooh, <laughs> coming through. Nice. <laughs> So um, sometimes, like AWS is using um, some kind of uh, public access to Docker Hub, where where is that? Where I have the Docker uh, container, and it sometimes say like, "Hey, you have been trying to download too many, and you just need to retry." Anyway, we see that we successfully man in the middle this token with this token with this OAuth GitHub token. We will be able to access. My uh, actually, this is a testing GitHub account. It's not my main personal one, but yeah, man. Like we manage to pivot from AWS to GitHub. That's I don't know. super. Cool. I, I really, I really hope you enjoy this technique. I love that. I think that's so cool. I hadn't seen that like Docker man in the middle setup and structure before. So that is. Very, very slick. Are there any, uh, I feel awful asking this, are there any preventions or protections against that? It, it's a feature, right? That's just what <laughs> AWS will naturally let you do. So um, oh, the main, the obvious main protection is don't give privileged access to code build, right. but, but there should be more. Like there should be, AW, only AWS will be able to access these tokens. So, for example, I haven't tried this specific Docker feature in GCP, but what I see GCP is you doing is they have kind of their own main in the middle. So instead of getting the container download the repo directly, um, directly from GitHub, they download it to an internal process, an, an internal service of their own, which at the moment I think is called like Cloud Repository or something like this. And then it downloads from there. So actually, you don't need that token. You you cannot steal the GitHub token because you don't have it. You know. Wow. I wonder if that's possible with AWS Code Commit. AWS also has a, a service that acts like GitHub. Code Commit is the name of that. Yeah. 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 I don't know if you can make it to replicate a, a GitHub repository. If that's the case, you could do the same kind of. Uh, exercise in AWS. I guess we will find out in a sooner video. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. If, if the YouTube comments don't beat us to it. Um, but goodness, that one is crazy cool. Is there anything more to unpack there? Or is that like, hey, mic drop, look at this wild, crazy thing. You can steal and swipe those GitHub tokens even through AWS. I love that that's like such a reverse approach from what we showcased in the previous videos. <laughs> Uh, so from my side, I didn't prepare anything else. Okay. Um, but I don't know, man. Like what, what I love to say when, when I talk in some conferences is that today's red team is not about compromising an internal network and escalating privilege in Active Directory, at least not in today's startup, but about compromising one SaaS or cloud provider and start stealing tokens and accessing the others. Like yeah. the more techniques you have like this one for your red teams, the better. The better you are going to be stealing a lot of access. 
That is so slick. And man, what a cool technique. I got to take a look within hack tricks because man, it looks like all the secret sauce, uh, a lot of the quick copy paste syntax you've already got uh, readily available and willing to share over on hack tricks cloud. So, Hey, kudos to you, man. And thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. If you're cool with it, I think that would be a really cool wrap up for this video. And I think maybe just, I don't know, being cognizant of time, we could probably roll, Ignacio, your next demo for dependency confusion in the next one. And then, I don't know, okay. we'll keep running. Does that work? Yep. That's Sweet. Good.